there, VBC campers. Today's story is a story you probably never heard of from the Old Testament. It's called Noah's Ark. Have you heard of it? Yeah, I know you have. I see you. I hear you back there. Well, Noah's Ark is not just a story about Noah and this flood. The story of Noah has a lot to do with being faithful to God and God's faithfulness to us. And we know by the gospel stories how God gave us Jesus to always walk with us. In those early days, uh, it was God who sent signs to let us know, Noah and his family know, that he would always be with us, especially during rocky, stormy times, kind of like the ones we're having right now. But also it's being patient. Right? How many of you are sorry and sick of staying at home? Yeah, I know, right? Can you imagine being on an ark with two of every animal, including an elephant and a monkey and a cheetah and a tiger and a lion? Oh my, oh my gosh, that's like super frustrating. This story allows us to understand that we need to be faithful in God and say, God, you've got this, you have this, you are with us through the storm until we can get to that beautiful rainbow at the end. So for your entertainment and for your learning, here's the story, the days of Noah's life. Scene one, Noah was standing outside of the ark with his family. It was a beautiful sunny day like it is today. And they were celebrating Noah's birthday. Happy birthday dear Noah, happy birthday to you. Noah. Happy birthday, dear Noah. Happy birthday to you. Oh, you guys, you got me again. 600 years, and I still never see this coming. Noah! You invited God, too? Noah, it's time for you to gather your family and get into that ark. I am sending you two of every animal to join you. Don't forget to bring the food. Animals? I don't recall hearing anything about animals. Where will everyone sleep? Ah, oh, here are the animals. Sorry, dear, I must have slipped my mind. I'm sure we'll figure something out. This will be amazing. It'll be like living in a zoo, or better yet, like living in a circus. Well, much like a circus, they start entering the ark. Scene two. Everyone is in the ark and it's seven days later. Move over. Hey, quit pushing. You're on my side of the ark. Noah, we've been on this ark for seven days now and there's still not one drop of rain. And then the animals make all sorts of sound. Ready guys? That's you guys. Ready? Go! Yes! I need to hear it louder. More animal sounds. And stop. I'm sure God knows what he's doing. It's probably not time yet. And yet, God's timing is good. It begins to pour. The rain! Oh, here we go, everyone hang on! And time moves by quickly. Tag, you're it. No, no fair. You can't ride a giraffe. I'm telling. Hey guys, let's make some more animal sounds. Go! Oh, you, oh, come on, you can do it. Come on, mom and dad, you too. Yes! And stop. God, I know your timing is perfect, but this rain really has got to stop soon. And so time passes. Do, 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 do. We started in February, it is now March 30, and the rain stops. Rain, rain, go away. Hey, the rain stopped! Hooray! Hey, everybody out there, give me a cheer! Yay! Hooray! The rain has stopped. Now, how long before we can get off this boat? Don't worry, dear. I'm sure it'll be soon. And more time passes. Do, 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 oh, forget it. Scene three. The ark 
has been resting on a mountain called Ararat. Noah's family is once again celebrating Noah's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Make some Happy animal noises. Happy birthday to you. Ooh. Happy birthday dear Noah. Happy birthday to you. Wow. I never guessed I'd be celebrating my 601st birthday on an ark. Neither, Neither did we. we. Noah! You guys invited God again? Noah, it's time to come out of the ark! Yay! Yay! Everyone out there, scream three times! Yay! 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 This is the best birthday ever! Your timing is perfect, God! Oh, and I'm not done yet! A rainbow! Is never to flood the earth again. And with that, Noah and his family begin filling the earth with people. Noah lived another 350 years trusting that God's timing is perfect. Here's a question for you guys and for your family. What are you doing to prepare for a time when you can prepare for the Lord's coming? It sounds real to ask that question, but that's what this story is setting us up for. The rainbow was a covenant that God has with his people that he would bring salvation to them. Are you walking Are you walking to Mass? Are you watching Mass, which is probably even better than walking to Mass? Are you participating in praying a rosary? Do you serve others in your home? Do you do things without your parents asking you to do them? Parents, do you read stories to your families? It's a time to bring, come together and live the love of the Lord to get through until we see the rainbow. Until next time!